Um, what's up? This is the Italian born on my tutorial uh, to fix uh, the pain in the butt caused by steam that pissed me and a lot of people off. Um, it's these two errors caused by buying the combined operation package from steam. I don't know if this has uh, come about from downloading both of them separately from steam, but uh, for most me and I guess other Steam users who are used to installing Steam games the original way of just like letting Steam install it without doing anything stupid and special. Um, buying combined operations causes this error. So this is my tutorial on how to fix that error. Now what I'm I'm showing you uh just I have Arma 2, Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead. I got it from the Combine Operations Pack. Now what I'm doing here is I'm deleting Arma 2 like it's it's like it's local game data, and uh, for some reason my my uh, apparently Steam uninstalling like attempting to uninstall my Arma 2 right here fails for some stupid reason, and I don't catch it the first time, so I just move on to Operation Arrowhead. See how it still says play right there. But I move on to Operation Arrowhead. I'm going to delete that too. We're gonna, we're deleting both games because we want to get a, a clean slate. You know what I mean? We wanna we wanna start fresh. So. We don't have to like try and never. We're just starting fresh, all right. You get what I'm saying. So I'm uninstalling Arma 2 for this time. It does uninstall. Now I'm going to download just Arma 2 uh, alone from Operation Arrowhead. So I'm I'm just downloading Arma 2 by itself right here now. Um, in this Steam like this, uh, how I have Steam opened up right here. This is not in administrator mode right now I'm gonna go into administrator mode after I okay so it downloaded and I'm just checking um when it downloads exit out of steam alright when it's done downloading exit out of steam do not install it and I was just checking task manager to make sure it was uh, closed now I'm gonna reopen steam in an administrator mode and install Arma 2 so I'm just waiting for steam to open up here Okay, so we could uh, close out of this uh, stupid uh, advertisement, I guess, that comes up. Let's go to our library, and remember, we're in administrator mode, and now we're going to install Arma 2, and let's take note, we did not install Operation Arrowhead yet. Now, you could have, or no, I'm not mean installed, downloaded. Now, you could have downloaded both of them at the same time if you wanted to, but I downloaded them both separately just because I didn't want to cause any like missed downloading errors or something maybe something would have came up it probably wouldn't have but just to play it safe I downloaded both of them separately now I'm using Camtasia Studio to video record my screen and Camtasia doesn't record um, gameplay so this is what it looks like if I'm in a game recording the screen with Camtasia you can see my mouse is moving around I'm on the main menu screen or whatever in the game but remember, we're in uh, uh, we're in administrator mode, and you install Arma 2 in administrator mode, and then uh, you go to the main menu. And I'd spend at least five minutes actually in the game. Like I'd sit, I'd sit there at the main menu for. Now, just don't worry about this. This is my computer. Like I'm on batteries right now. I switch over to. I plug it into the wall in like five minutes. This is my computer just warning me to like save power or something? Now, anyways. When when uh, you install it in administrator mode and it takes you into the game, you sit there for about a minute and then actually go into a, a thing for like five minutes just to play it safe. I went into a boot camp and just screwed around for five minutes. Now right here, I'm downloading Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead, like the ex expansion thing, but it's its own standalone game. So here I am, I'm downloading this. Now, someone told me the problem... Um, caused by that's that's causing the two errors was because Steam somewhat made it so that Arma 2 or uh, Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead relied on a binary code sent from the original Arma 2 to it, and that wasn't happening if we didn't install and run both of them in administrator mode. Now, after Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead is done, I just exited out of Steam and went back into it 
in administrator mode just to make sure like it was still there. I'm, I'm playing it safe now. And I'm going to, instead of installing Arma 2, Operation Arrowhead, I'm going to go back into Arma 2 again and do the same thing. Just sit at the main menu for a minute and go into boot camp for like five minutes. And then I'm going to come out. Now, I'm not going to exit out of Steam because it's already in administrator mode. That might be a little bit overkill to keep exiting out and stuff, but once I'm done with uh, the game now, at this point in time when I was actually doing this, I didn't know if it was going to work. So right now I'm loading up fraps to try and capture some gameplay footage as like proof that it worked. Because I showed you I had the air, and now I'm going to show you that I actually have the game. But we ran it, uh, Arma 2 in Administrator mode, and now I'm going to install um, Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead. Still in Administrator mode, never exited out, but now I'm going to install it. Now remember to play Arma 2 before. Remember to play Arma 2 in administrator mode before you install Operation Arrowhead. Now at this point in the video, um, when I was doing this, I thought those errors were going to come up. I'm like, I wasted four hours of bandwidth to try and get it, but then this started to happen, and I actually, I actually got into uh I got the game to work. So I was like I was really excited for this to work. So I I hope this tutorial helped you guys. Or well, I mean it couldn't have been it couldn't have been better. It couldn't have been um it couldn't have been worse. I mean you can only benefit from watching this uh tutorial. I don't, I don't see how you could get any wrong or bad out of this. So this was there for you guys if you're having that problem for you guys to help you fix it so you could play day Z like I really want I I still haven't played it yet it's been a couple days I haven't I've been so busy but yes I can see all the day Z servers just mocking me there but yes now finally us on Steam for combined operations can finally play day Z that, that's why that's the whole reason why I bought combined operations or at least Operation Arrowhead. I probably would have bought Arma 2, but the whole reason I bought Operation Arrowhead was from was for DayZ. So, yes, this is me just going into a game. I, I, if you get this to work, I wouldn't get to the main menu and just exit out. I mean, I'd spend five minutes in the game actually just to make sure like stuff works. I wouldn't get to the main menu and then just quit out because you don't know what the game is doing in the background. So I just joined a multiplayer game and then just started screwing around. I was like shooting my gun or whatever. But I hope this tutorial was beneficial to you guys. I know I've said this before. I couldn't have done any wrong. But if someone, if this video would have been up there made by someone else uh, when I was having this problem several days ago, this would have saved me so much time that... It just would have been so helpful to me that I would have been able to fix my game and then be able to play it in the afternoon. No, I I spent um, my whole Saturday, you know, the la one of the last free ones I get before I start full time, uh, trying to fix this game. So I finally got to work. I got exams and uh, I got one free Saturday, and then that's it. I start full time. My game, my time to play this game uh, down the drain. So you know what I'm doing Saturday. I'm playing this game. So uh, this is the Italian born, and I uh, hope this tutorial was helpful. And I'll see you guys later.